In this video, we will discuss the process of identifying and addressing deficiencies in various standards. Again, using the smoke alarm standard, we will cover how each deficiency is presented, the criteria for a deficiency, its health and safety determination, and the timeframes for correction. Each deficiency is listed in order when examining a standard, with its name and location indicated. Some standards may have only one deficiency, while others may have multiple deficiencies. We're using standards for the unit and inside locations regarding smoke alarms. For each deficiency, you will find the criteria needed to be considered a deficiency. Additionally, the health and safety determination will be stated, which could be standard, life-threatening, severe non-life-threatening, or non-applicable. This determination is based on the deficiency's function, operability, condition, and appearance. In the smoke alarm standard, a device that doesn't make a sound or light up when there's a fire is considered life-threatening. Next, you will find the correction timeframes listed for both general situations and those under the Housing Choice Voucher Program. These timeframes can vary, such as 30 days or 24 hours, depending on the severity of the deficiency. This life-threatening deficiency with the smoke alarm requires correction within 24 hours. The rationale for each deficiency is provided through a code, category, type, description, and explanation. This helps to clarify the reasoning behind the deficiency and its classification. The inspection process for each deficiency is also described, including how to observe it and when to request assistance. Lastly, the tools and equipment needed for evaluating the deficiency are listed. This includes both required and useful tools or equipment to ensure the deficiency is properly assessed and addressed. By understanding, and following the information provided for each deficiency, you can work towards maintaining a safe and compliant environment. In our next video, we'll take a look at rationale codes and descriptions. Please visit our website, navigatehousing.com for more information on Inspire.